Friend, I was born at Spanish Fort along the Chisholm Trail. My partner picked me up in 83. And together we pushed Longhorn cattle up to Abilene and the life we led was wild and fancy free. The first day out we crossed the river and I got soaking wet. It was early spring and fairly mild and before I had a chance to dry we reached the Cimarron and it was boiling red and running wild. When we rode into Abilene I was covered up with mud. The chaparral had scratched and gouged my hide, but a little soap and water and some polish on my skin, and I soon forgot the perils of the ride. We walked into the long branch where he bought himself a drink. Till then, I'd never seen a feller die. My partner caught him dealing from the bottom of the deck, and we headed back to Texas on the fly. We staked ourselves a homestead, and we sort of settled down on the Brazos at the D. Cordova Bend. And then my partner fell in love and took himself a bride. In time, she came to be my dearest friend. Now, partner and his little wife were happy as can be. The seven boys they raised were big and stout, and then our world went plumb to hell in 1922. And I was there the day her light went out. My partner drilled himself a well in 1925. A thousand pumps were set inside our fence. We stayed in all the best hotels and rode in limousines, and I saw kings and queens and presidents. I was in the saddle when his pony tripped and fell. I stood beside the bed until he died. I rode backwards in the stirrups when they took him to his grave, and in my own way, I stood alone and cried. And I spent all next summer in his grandson's pickup truck. We rodeoed from Fort Worth to Cheyenne. He ain't the man his grandpa was, but then the times have changed. And I must admit, the kid is quite a hand. His children put me in this case to rot and waste away. Once a year, they dust and wax and clean. They talk about how good I look and how I hold my age. If I could only tell them what I've seen. Say, I forgot you rode with us down all them dusty trails. You heard every word he had to say. Of course, I was always by the bed and you were on a chair, so we ain't never talked until today. And I don't know why I'm rambling on. Guess I just need to talk. Except that you're an old hat, we're the same. Our partner wore us both with pride for over 60 years, and he was proud I wear the Justin name. <laughs>